when you start exercise and when the gun fires, let's say you're in an 800 meter or 1500 meter middle distance track race, the speed with which you can turn on that aerobic system to supply oxygen to your muscles and to utilize that oxygen is really important. So you've got to have a really high VO2 max in the first place if you want to be a world record holder in an endurance sport. So I'm not diminishing you know, the, the value and the importance of having a high VO2 max. But once you've got it, there are certainly other things that can improve, which in concert with your high VO2 max will result in you getting better and better. So all of a sudden, everything's out of equilibrium. You've lost your homeostasis, which of course as humans, as, as mammals, we, we always lack homeostasis, whether it's temperature or whether it's acid base or whatever. But we've got beyond this threshold where that's manageable. I'm often asked the question, did, why didn't we have a sports psychologist for breaking two? And, and it never crossed our minds because the guys that we were working with, they were so mentally tough. They were, you know, it was almost an insult to them just to say to them, we can, we can make you better psychologically.